Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Coach D, Diane Damren, is here with the perfect recipe for those cool fall days. She's going to be making a roasted butternut squash soup. As always, we love it when you are with us. Thank Some you. great ideas. We're going to start with this butternut squash here. Yeah. Got a couple of tips, too, on what we should do when we're picking those out. Right. Well, I think a lot of times people are intimidated. They look, you know, they're kind of funny looking gourds. You know, you walk exactly. by them and you probably just pass by. But you want to pick one. I like these kind of medium sized ones. Um, you can find some like where the necks are real skinny and tall. Yeah. I don't like those. You, and you want you they're pretty heavy. Feel how heavy yeah, they are. Yeah, they've got a nice little weight to yeah, them. Yeah, for their size, them you want them to be very healthy. That's <laughs> very heavy. All um, right, so you got a couple of tips, so too, on how to, uh, I guess, into you get, get into them. That's right. And they're, you know, I'm paraphrasing, but there's more than one way to skin a squash. But <laughs> um, basically, I like to, the safest and the least amount of waste is to use a, a peeler, mm -hmm. like a, a, a potato peeler, and you just, and patience. Just be very patient. Okay. And you'll go all the way down, and what I like to do is I do it twice. So I'll, I'll get a peel and I'll go all the way around mm -hmm. twice. Okay. And you'll you can start to see that really pretty orange oh, color. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Itself. Yeah. And then once you get it completely peeled, mm -hmm. then you will put it on its side and again, pack patience and a big and a big knife. knife. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you will cut it this way, and then once you get it cut that way, then you'll cut each one in half. And you've got All right, one. All right. So yeah. So this cut. is actually kind of what you're yes. talking about right here. Yes. And uh, so we'll bring you up, and so we've got them, and then you've cut it. Cut it in half that way, and you can see how pretty it is, pretty and orange on the inside, and it is just delicious on the inside. And it looks sort of like a pumpkin. Yeah. And you can take a spoon and you can clean these out and and roast these seeds if you want as well. Oh, um, super! So another them. fun yeah. thing to do with kids yeah absolutely okay and so then once you get this all cut up then again just very patient because they're gonna be very dense and you've got some over here that I've mm -hmm. already cut up and this is what they look like you kind of feel how they're kind of hard and, and dense yeah okay um, but you'll cut them into inch cubes and then you'll roast them in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour and they'll get nice and caramelized and you can eat these as a side dish just like this you okay can pair them some pasta and eat those did you ro b b do any butter or anything I sprayed, with them? I sprayed okay. the pan a little bit yeah so then w you'll take those out and while those are cooling you will saute this is just three quarters this is the base of any good soup saute three quarters of a cup of carrots onions and celery mm -hmm. and you'll saute those with a little bit of olive oil and then once those are sauteed you want them soft we're going to do three rounds of blending okay so you're going to blend the onions and carrots with one can of chicken stock super and then okay you're put them back into your dutch oven and then you're going to take half of the squash and blend them with another can of chicken stock and then pour them back into this mm -hmm. dutch oven okay and then you'll do the other half with a cup and a half of skim or low fat milk. All right, so you've Blend got skim and low fat, fat to make it healthier That's and lowering right. calories. It's, you can go the other way if you want, yes, but. Yes, a lot of people would add cream, but this is such a dense, and actually this is a fruit because it, the seeds are on the inside, but it is so dense, it becomes creamy and velvety mm -hmm. all on its own. Okay. And then you get all those three batches in your Dutch oven and you cook it and you can serve it immediately or it is really good. What I love for fall is to come home and it's cool and you just pull it out of the fridge or the freezer yeah. and, and it makes just this velvety soup and it is so good and when you're one my secret ingredient is a little bit of nutmeg mm -hmm. when you're roasting it and it just adds that kind of okay. warm fall flavor and talk so. to about how you're serving this over here because yeah. you uh, did something else that was kind of cool yeah. you can you can serve it with the roasted seeds from this but I buy pepitas which is pumpkin seeds mm -hmm. I like the color contrast because and I garnish it with a little bit of Greek yogurt okay. um, and and some pepitas and I you know it makes a great meal with Super. some protein or Halloween I like it for Halloween or an elegant um, yeah Thanksgiving so you've got course. several different ways to serve yep. that. They all look good as always. We love it when you're Thank with you. us. Uh, this is recipe number 5436 available on our website at newschannel5.com. Diane with Coach D Consulting. Appreciate it. Thank you.